Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about the projector, the LED projector that's being sold by everyone again. Now this LED projector is actually quite small. Now as you can see, this is a box that it came in. It's very well packaged, so let me open up this box for you. That's the actual projector. As you can see, there's a lens here, it's a plastic lens that protects, uh, obviously it's been uh, hung together by an elastic and uh, the ports are what interest me quite a lot so you can see there's uh, the dual usb on one side there's the sd card slot there's the hdmi in there's av in the way av works is there's a cable that's available so all you do is plug it in and you have the uh, uh, that's the audio which is the left and the right white and red and that's the video uh, yellow so uh, if you've got an old um, maybe DVD player um, or a CD player possibly you can use the audio but nowadays people don't use it you've got HDMI so uh, actually all of the other ports have become redundant um, there's a VGA in as well so if you want to maybe connect your laptop uh, obviously you need to have the, the VGA to VGA cable to connect from your laptop to uh, this projector uh, surprisingly uh, obviously it comes with a remote let me show you that so that's the remote it's a small one i just retained the plastic wrapping uh, what it came in it just really helps me protect the remote from uh, from falls and maybe from dust so if you use the uh, remote depending on how you keep the projector uh, it works from this port and it works from uh, this port as well so those are the infrared sensors on both sides of the projector kind of depends on how you've kept it and I think they work in tandem as well on on the other side is the uh, the power lead now it comes with a power lead uh, in, in my case I've got the UK power lead so there you are and uh, on the front that's the navigation uh, buttons there's power there's the uh, the actual mode uh, back buttons uh, what's interesting is uh, this dial here controls how far the lens goes out and how it comes in so when you put in the lens cap it has to be all the way in so that you can securely uh, store it this dial here at the at the back is actually the keystone correction a keystone is actually um, how you place the projector so for example if the projector is kept slightly pointing upwards what's going to happen is the sh uh, the the actual display uh, which projects on the screen or on the wall the top bit is going to be larger than the bottom bit so you'll get like trapezoidal one which is uh, shorter at the bottom so this corrects that so really again depends on how you keep the projector that works uh, what I also want to show you is um, is this Chromecast uh, that I actually use so um, what I do is I have a truly wireless experience so all I do is plug my Chromecast in and uh, put my uh, uh, put the, the 5 volt uh, um, the USB bit so that it powers the Chromecast and there you have it just put the power cord in and put it anywhere and literally it works I've used it in my bedroom really for late night movies that really helps me relax and, and sleep and while I catch up on, um, on things so I just cast my uh, the, the movies off my mobile phone so I'm really very happy so it actually works like a true personal home theater system um, that's about it really I think this is a very good projector the resolution that's one of the more important things is although it takes in HDMI which would be you'd say 1080p but it doesn't actually project an HDMI, HDMI out I would say it projects something like a quarter HDMI uh, a quarter HD uh, which is about 480p something like that so resolution is obviously lower but the benefit of it is it's very handy it's small it's portable and obviously if you if you want a full-fledged projector that does 3d and full hd then you're looking at bigger projectors and obviously more cost